want to talk a little bit about uh, e-scouting for turkey and what kind of terrain that I'm kind of looking for. I uh, had a guy reach out to me a couple of days ago and wanted me to kind of look over some terrain that he's hunting in uh, the uh, mountains of uh, East Tennessee and uh, the Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia area. Uh, he's from the Midwest farm country, so he's used to the rolling hills, but the mountains are a little bit different. These are the ridges that I'm looking for, and I call these duck foot ridges or spoke ridges. Duck foot because it kind of looks like a duck's web foot or spoke ridges because it kind of looks like spokes coming off of a bicycle wheel. So here I've identified the spokes on this ridge. Uh, it gives the gobbler ample opportunity to work multiple points without ever having to leave uh, one general area. So that makes, uh, it makes travel a lot easier for them. Being very energy efficient is important for a gobbler this time of year. Uh, they're spending so much time breeding or trying to breed or trying to locate hens. Having access to a concentrated group of hens in an area like this, on a ridge system like this, really helps out because they can conserve energy. They don't have to travel so far to, to have access to food, water, or breeding opportunities. A lot of times you'll get multiple gobblers using one ridge like this all at the same time. Uh, you may get a dominant gobbler that's in this area and his subordinates will kind of saddle out around him. I like that this ridge is accessible from a higher elevation. It's not just a standalone ridge that looks like this because those can be hard to access without making a lot of noise or alerting the birds that could be up on that ridge. Having that access that comes from a higher elevation is a huge advantage. One other huge advantage, this only has a logging road in it. It doesn't have an all-weather access road, so you're not going to have a lot of people busting into this area, walking those all-weather roads or driving down them. So that's another key component of an area like this to look for is lack of access. Roadless areas are areas without uh, all-weather road access. That's a huge plus for me. This would be my initial like listening area, maybe contact calling, light calling, maybe uh, hitting my locator call if I needed to. I would start in that area. That gives me a good opportunity to, if there is something that is down on there, a gobbler does respond. I do hear hens, I hear gobblers with them. I can uh, adjust accordingly. Uh, if I need to, I can go further down the ridge, but at that point in time, I'm gonna stop and listen, and I'm gonna do a contact call, some kind of Yelp, light Yelp, to see if there's anything down those ridges below me and if I get a response then I can move accordingly. Next I'm going to transition over to Onyx and look at a few of their map layers. The first one I'm going to look at is slope angle shading. You'll notice it looks a little differently on Onyx. There's a little less detail. Uh, I'm going to turn on the slope angle shading under the land and access. It also shows me that there's a trail. It's probably an old logging road which sounds really good. I like old logging roads to find turkeys on so that's a plus, but you can see it's a little different than what you see with Spartan Forge. Now I'm about to turn on a different layer. This is our trees, uh, tree and cover type. I'm gonna turn off the slope angle shading. I'm gonna go over to the tree and cover. Uh, and I'm gonna turn on the deciduous and coniferous. Um, and here you can see it shows a difference between the deciduous and coniferous, your hardwoods and your pine. Uh, there's a tab on there that will show you what the different colors mean. So I can see here it's not just a pine forest. This is a mixed forest in here. So I'm going to have a lot of transition areas that these turkeys will really love to, to kind of stay in along this ridge system. And it gives me a heads up to know, hey, I'm probably looking at a good area here with a lot of diversity. I like to turn on the hybrid portion of this map. Because it gives me a good idea of exactly what the terrain, the tree type is with that coniferous deciduous uh, layer on underneath it. Now I'm going to switch over to Cal Topo with the relief shading and slope angle. Uh, I'd also have the 10 foot contours. So this is going to show me a lot of detail about those micro drainages that are on this ridge system. Uh, kind of how they're shaped. Uh, it gives a lot, of more, lot more definition to them. So it gives me an idea that there is a huge amount of transition on this ridge and a lot of character to this ridge. It's something that would be very desirable for all different kind of animals, turkey, deer, uh, small game, 
this this ridge system sets up perfect. So now I'll switch back over to Spartan Forge one last time. I do all of my initial e scouting with Spartan Forge. I like the app because it gives me a good representation of the slope angles and the contours are on point. Then I will verify using CalTopo, using Onyx, using HuntStand that what I'm seeing on my Spartan Forge is what I'm going to find once I get on the ground. It gives me a real good idea, a real confidence that when I step there, I'm going to see exactly what I'm wanting to see. If I can find a ridge like this, I feel like I'm way ahead of the game. I'm confident I can find a bird right here. I'm Shane Parker. I'm with November Warrior Outdoors. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Appreciate you listening, guys, taking the time to watch this. Good luck out there.